body lotion making here are the items needed in the making of body lotion shea butter oil honey perfume and beeswax the first step in the process of making lotion is to set a fire to heat the ingredients you should put water in a metal container and place it over the fire to let it heat and boil when the water is heated Get a small metal bowl and put beeswax in the bowl. Place the metal bowl in the bigger bowl of boiling water to let the beeswax melt without touching the fire. Put shea butter in a container and add some water to wash it clean. You wash the shea butter by massaging it in water for a few minutes. After some time, the butter becomes whitish in color and the scent is removed. Remove the first cleaning water. And add more water to rinse it. When the wax is totally melted, remove it from the boiling water and set it to cool down. Next, place the clean butter in a metal container on the boiling water to melt it like you did with the beeswax. The butter will melt faster than the beeswax. In another metal bowl, put half a liter of oil. Here we use vegetable oil, but any oil can be good. When the shea butter is melted, measure one small milk tin of melted butter, 100 grams, and add it to the oil. Take the melted beeswax and strain it to remove anything in it. Then you measure one small milk tin, 100 grams, and add it to the bowl. This combined mixture looks like an egg when it is fried in oil. When this is done, place the mixed bowl in the boiling water to heat it for it to dissolve. It is advisable to take great care during this process to avoid burns due to the heat of the mixture. After completely melting the mixture, Take it out of the boiling water and use a whisk to stir it well. This whisk can be a stick or the type of mixer you use for sauces. While stirring, measure two-thirds of an entire cup full of honey and add it to the mixture. This is poured slowly while it is continuously stirred. After adding the honey to the mixture, the color changes from light red to yellow. Add two thirds of an entire cup full of perfume to the mixture. This is done to make sure that the body lotion smells good. You should mix continuously as you add it. This will be smelled to see if the smell is strong or not. If the smell is still lacking, you need to add more perfume for a stronger scent. This mixture is stirred for a long time because if you do not mix it until it is very thick, the ingredients will separate as it cools. Now that the mixture is the consistency of boiled mango, it is poured in small cups. These cups are equally filled with the same amount of lotion, leaving a little room at the top. The surface of the lotion is leveled using the forefinger.
all the cups are filled and covered. This is done to avoid other substances from getting into the body lotion. The cups are arranged on the working table to solidify. Now that the body lotion is made, it is ready to be used. It does not need to wait before it is ready. In this video, you have learned how to make your own body lotion without buying it from the shop.